<laughs> Look at dude's face, bro. He on demon time. He about to be petty. This is going to be good. Speaking of demon time, bro. Why in the world? And I get that Seth Rollins wear some crazy stuff. Why they got my man dressed like an evil snow angel, bro? <laughs> what is going on with this fit, bro? Like, he look like a snow angel that got bit by a vampire. But hey, you know what? It probably is way more than I can afford. And it's something I definitely can't rock. So I guess I can't talk too much. It still look crazy, bro. <laughs> I can't help it. We'll get to that, but if you'll indulge me for a moment, San Jose! Welcome to Monday Night, Night. Rawling. And, and the congratulations are in order for Drew McIntyre. You did it, Drew. I'm proud of you. You clawed your way back into a title match with me for the second time. This time, you have an opportunity to do what you've been wanting to do since 2020, win the World Heavyweight Championship, except this time it won't be in an empty warehouse. You've got the opportunity to do it in front of a capacity crowd at the biggest WrestleMania of all time. But... Deserve it. There is one <laughs> thing standing in your way. He is a visionary. He is a revolutionary. He is Seth. standing in my way of winning that title and beating you is no easy job beating me is no easy job so why are you making it so hard on yourself i've been watching what's happening with roman and cody and the rock J just stop now you don't need this in your life i don't understand i've talked to you about your injured knee your injured back take some time off get to 100 percent. i want you at 100 percent but you're not going to listen to me, you're a grown man. And I can't understand why you're going to SmackDown to other lands to fight their battles when we need you here on Raw. That's a fact, bro. That's their business. That's a fact. Screw them. When I'm champion, I don't care if SmackDown is on fire and they're on their knees begging for help. I will not pee on them to put that fire out. What? My responsibility <laughs> will be Raw and that world title only. Exactly. Hey, Drew, Drew got a point, bro. Drew got a point. Although the idea of the tag team match and, you know, him being involved in stuff is cool. It's entertaining. I just never understood that. Why does he keep forcing himself and trying to insert himself into that where he has a whole brand in WWE to worry about? It's I just didn't get that part, but I get his offer entertainment. So I'm, I'm OK with it. I'm, I'm not mad. But there's one thing I really want you to think about. The bloodline situation, mate. You know where this is going. Don't keep going down this path. We know the outcome. It's happened time and time again. It's happened to me personally. You push them too mm -hmm. far. Guess what's going to happen in our big match at WrestleMania? We're going to put on a killer match. They're all going to be on their feet. They're going crazy. They'll hit the ring. They'll cost you the match. And it'll taint my victory. So please, for your sake, for my sake, back off drew speaking facts man it's kind of ironic you know it's kind of funny because remember before 
Seth Rollins was the one telling Drew McIntyre to lay off the bloodline, to leave them alone. So now it's Drew McIntyre saying the exact same thing to Seth Rollins. It's, it's, it's interesting. But I think they're going to leave that out. I don't even think they're going to address that. Who is that? Do y'all hear that guy? <laughs> I respect everything you just said, but respectfully, some risks are worth taking. And look, I'm gonna be straight with you, man. You've known me for a long time. You know what I'm about, so you know that every single thing you just said, I have thought about. I have replayed it over and over and over in my head, all the negative outcomes. That's why I'm the architect. That's why I'm the visionary. And the truth is, Drew, you might be right. You might be right. My knee, it may not be ready. My back may give out. The bloodline may leave me broken in their wake, just like they have everybody else. In WrestleMania, it might be an easy night for you. You might be right, Drew. But what if you're wrong? Like I said, some risks, they're worth taking. I've been selfish in my career, man. I've been selfish in my life. And I thought, I thought the goal at the end of the road would fill the void. But every single time when I got to that point, I felt empty inside. And it wasn't until I had my daughter it wasn't until I had my beautiful baby girl that I realized not everything is about me. There are some things in this life that are bigger than all of us. The world championship is bigger than us. Taking down the bloodline is bigger than us. Again, it's ironic, man. Let me ask you this. If we don't take care of the bloodline before WrestleMania, then what happens? Say you do take the title from me. It doesn't matter if you're champion or I'm champion. The bloodline wants power, and it's only a matter of time before they come for the World Heavyweight Championship. Hey, he got, you know, I ain't gonna lie to you. Seth do got a point, bro. Seth do got, you know what I'm saying? It's like Thanos when he's looking for the Infinity Stones. It's like, bro, it don't matter who has it. If he coming for that stone, he coming for that stone at the end of the day. So... I, I get where Seth is coming from, but I definitely do get where Drew McIntyre is coming from, too. So you might be right, but what if you're wrong? What if my knee is 100%? What if my back is ready to go? What if we can rip the bloodline apart once and for all and secure the future of this industry? He getting me hyped, man. I want to be a part of this. <laughs> because if we can do all of that, then at WrestleMania, Drew, it's just you, me, and the World Heavyweight title. Y'all got a couple of weeks to do it. How y'all gonna figure this out? I told you this before, Crown Drew, I'll tell you again. May the best man win. Some risks, some risks are worth taking. Hey, man, he made me want to get up and do something in my life. I ain't gonna lie to you. That was very inspirational. But at the end of the day, it, it is confusing that, you know, he, he first thought about trying to have this match with Cody Rhodes and he didn't get rejected. So it did look like that, oh, if Cody didn't want me, I'm going to try to insert it. But if this is his motivation, it's to take down the bloodline before they become a problem so that him and Drew McIntyre can have a, a fair phase so everyone else can just have a normal match without worrying about the bloodline interfering. I rock with that. I'm still leaning more on Drew's side, but I, I get where Seth Rollins is coming from. And, you know, he still looked like an evil uh, snow angel. But anyway, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. I greatly appreciate you guys for watching. I love you.